Rosario Dawson, yes. congratulations on Thank this you. event, congratulations on the show, congratulations on life in this moment in time. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Rank these experiences for me if you can. Okay. Get in the call uh, to embody a beloved character in the most beloved okay. franchise creatively of all time. Yeah. Day one on set, maybe of this show, maybe of Mandalorian, but on the full makeup, everything there, feeling that character, or the first time you step up in front of thousands of screaming, enthusiastic Star Wars fans and seeing just how much this world means to people. I think it's probably, it's that exact ramp up, even the way that you said it, like it's like every single experience, it didn't feel like you could top what the previous was. And then it just kind of added this whole other layer. I think that's what's so brilliant about Ahsoka is there are so many layers, not only of makeup, and wardrobe and, and and things, but there's, you know, this is a family, this is a character that has existed for a long time. Um, it's a very collaborative experience, you know, I, without the training, without Dave, without the fans, it just doesn't exist. Um, it doesn't make sense. And so, yeah, I think you did it already. Like it really, I'm, I'm bursting at this point. I couldn't be more grateful. I couldn't feel more blessed. Like, and to be able to be here with my mom and sharing it with her after her reaction to seeing me say, may the force be with you for the first time is just, it's, it, it doesn't make sense that it keeps getting better, but it does. And you get to fulfill a fantasy and dream of, yeah. not just Star Wars fans, fans of, 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 of television, of film, of stories, yeah. of wielding a lightsaber yeah. like a pro. Yeah. Uh, when, when that first day was coming up, did you make a call to your Ewan McGregor's, your Sam Jackson's for any tips on how to look cool like one, with one of those things on camera? No, actually, that didn't occur to me. I probably could have gotten some digits. Um, no, you know, I, I really, I, I just kept kind of like, freaking out, I think, and just, I just kept doing it over and over again. I think my, you know, for me, you know, it's nice kind of in the, the you know, sort of new release Star Wars stories that kind of came out and you get to see the relationship even more with between Hayden and Ahsoka um, and just how like, I mean, relentless he was in her training. You know, that's that, that was the thing that I kept looking at it. It was just like, the only thing that you can do is just do it again and do it again and do it again and do it again until it becomes natural which is such a weird thing to wield a lightsaber naturally but that's where you end up and that feels so powerful when you get to that moment it's you finally kind of settle into a character in a way that is not possible just memorizing the lines well i hope you took the sabers home with you at the very I tried. least oh, i really tried on. i did i mean look at Dave finally got to like it was like a whole thing. He had to get like one of the broken ones. He, as much as he jokes about it, he's like you know, he literally like took one of the like prototypes and like the broken ones because otherwise they're like we got to keep it here. So give it maybe another one series. day if we get a season two, maybe absolutely. Season two, maybe. Well, hopefully you guys will. There's a lot of really excited people out there for it, and I'm Thank sure you. it's going to pay dividends. Congratulations on you know this whole event. Have a good few Thank days. You. Appreciate Thank you. it. Bye. Take care.